Hey guys, Dwayne Bryant here from wagertalk.com. I'm going to go over a few midweek college basketball games here in just a minute. Before I get to that though, I want to make sure I mention uh, one of my special deals I have going on right now over at dbbets.com. It is an MLB Totals Through the World Series Early Bird Special. Price right now for a limited time is $349. You get all of my MLB totals for the entire season, postseason, through the World Series for $349 right now. I'm number one all time at Wager Talk in profit from MLB totals. So take advantage of this limited time special deal at dbbets.com. For our first game, uh, and I'm recording this on Monday morning, uh, this game is a Tuesday game. St. John's at Villanova, Big East Clash. If we use Ken Palm's score prediction, uh, we usually get a pretty good idea of where the line will be. So judging by that, we should see a line of around Nova minus 11 home favorite uh, with a total of about 157. Now these two met February 3rd in New York. Uh, Villanova was about a 9, 9.5 point road favorite. And they lost outright by 11, 70 to 59. Looking inside the numbers of that game, uh, Nova shot 37.5% uh, from two point range. And when you can uh, compare that to their conference season average, which is 50.3%, and also consider the fact that St. John's has the worst two point percentage defense in the Big East. Uh, we should definitely see a major improvement uh, shooting-wise from Villanova in this rematch. Also in that first meeting, Nova shot only 26.7% from three-point range. Uh, compare that to their conference season average of 38.2%, which is second in the Big East. And again, we should see a marked improvement in the rematch here uh, tomorrow night. In that first meeting, St. John's shot 43.5% from three-point range. They are among the best uh, three-pointer uh, shooting teams in the Big East, but that number should still drop here on the road. Nova's definitely going to be a double-digit favorite here. I'll be surprised if they're not. Uh, and most of their home wins are by double digits, uh, but I'm willing to back them here. I'm willing to back Nova if I can get them at minus 11 or less. So we'll have to see where that is when the line comes out. Moving on to game number two. This is a Wednesday game. And this is Xavier at Providence. Uh, again, looking at the Ken Palm score prediction, we should see an opening line of Xavier around a one-point road favorite. A uh, total of about 141. Now, these two met January 10th. Xavier was a four-point home favorite, and they only won by one. Uh, so, they got the win, did not get the cover. Now, do I expect Providence to get some revenge here at home? No, I don't. Uh, and here's why. Uh, in that first meeting, Providence shot 59.1% from three-point range. Uh that's awfully hard to do. Um, their conference season average is only 35%. Uh, so that first meeting's result is about as good as I think it can get here for Providence. Um, their two-point shooting is worst in the Big East. Uh, so I don't expect them to be able to compensate for the three-pointers not falling like they did in the first matchup. So, you know, losing by one... On the road, probably about as good as it gets there for Providence. I can't see them shooting any better this time around. Uh, so I'm going to back Xavier on the road here to get the season sweep. Uh, if I can get them as you know as at less than minus three, I will definitely may, uh, they will definitely be considered strongly on Wednesday. Before I get to the third and final game, I do have to tell you about one other special I have going on right now at dbbets.com. It is a buy seven days, get seven days free special. Uh, it's listed on my page at dbbets.com on the right side of the page under wager talk specials. Um, you click on the buy button and at the checkout you use coupon code seven free and you will get 14 days for the price of seven at dbbets.com. Again, this is also a limited time deal, so get on board with that right away. Our third and final game 
Uh, we're looking at a Thursday game this time. It's going to be SMU at Wichita State. Again, we look at Ken Palm's score prediction to get an idea of what the opening line will be here. And we should see SMU as around a one-point road favorite. Uh, total around 145. This is the first meeting of the season, uh, so no, no revenge motivation in play here. The rematch is going to be in Dallas this coming Sunday. Wichita State is off a huge upset win over Houston, which is why I picked this game. They were about a seven and a half point home dog, got the upset win, and so this is a big letdown spot for the Shockers at home. Um, you know, and they've been very beatable uh, when they've been in against this class of opponent. On the other side, SMU has fared very well against this class of opponent, even on the road. Uh, so you know, I can definitely see SMU getting the victory here in what is a tough spot for Wichita State. Uh, I'd be looking to back SMU here on the road if they're a dog. Uh, maybe even a first half play as Wichita State is likely to come out flat off that big upset win. Uh, so if we can get SMU, you know, as a uh, pick them or better in the first half line, that might be the way to go there as well. That will do it for me for this week. You can follow me on Twitter at WagerTalkDwayne. Don't forget about the two special deals I mentioned earlier in this video. Thanks for watching, and as always, until next time, best of luck on all your wagers.